Hi mommies, my name is Lai and you're watching How to Mommy. This video is about how I increased my milk supply. Last year, ko pang gusto gawin tong video na to, the moment my milk supply increased. Pero, of course, first time mom, sobrang busy, walang time mag vlog. So, ngayon, gagawin ko na talaga, nakahanap na ako ng time. Tsaka, I did in depth research. So, aside from kung ano mga na try ko at ano mga na work sa akin, gusto ko kasi isali sa video para kumpleto yung video. And dami kong ni research, I did all the work for you. And I hope this is as complete as it can get. And if something worked for you na hindi ko na mention, please tell me sa comments below. And if there's anything na mali na sasabihin ko, please let me know din sa comments below. I hope that you're gonna watch this video until the end para madami tayong malearn. If you're currently struggling with your milk supply, just take it from me. Ako, I was um, unable to pump kahit one ounce of milk that day when I was starting to try and increase my milk supply. My baby was at around two or three weeks old. So, abang hirap na hirap talaga ako. But at the end of my journey or towards the end, um, I was very, very successful. I was already able to pump 24 ounces per day. So, pinapadede ko siya direct latch. Tapos, nagpapump ako during my free time. And nakapagpump ako ng ganun kadami. In fact, I was able to build a freezer stash. And in the end, kasi ang dami na talaga ng milk ko, we just ended up donating all of my freezer stash. So, that's how successful I was in increasing my milk supply. So, I'm also hoping all the best for you. And one more thing before I continue. I hope that you can subscribe to my channel so that we can help more moms out there. Just a really, really quick background i am a first time mom i gave birth last year march 2 of 2018 he was a healthy baby boy pero emergency cesarean section yung birth ko because uh 24 hours na ako nasa labor room like more than 24 hours tapos hindi talaga nag si baby so they had to cut me open but that's okay he was really healthy he was um perfectly normal there were there were no immediate problems postpartum kaya nga lang like around two weeks old si baby noon we went to the pediatrician for a routine checkup Tapos, super duper low weight pala siya. He lost 720 grams. So, that's very, very bad. And there were a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons is low milk supply ako. Kulang yung milk ko. I talked about the weight loss of my baby at kung paano siya nag-gain without formula milk, without vitamins, uh, without supplements. In another video, I'm gonna link the video below. And yung focus natin ngayon is how I increase my milk supply. Unahin na natin yung galactogogs. Galactogogs are those that you can take like drinks or usually uh, food or supplements that you can take para dumame yung milk mo. I know that you're probably watching this video for that. And there are natural ways, pero mamaya ko na lang siya later on in the video pag uusapan pero let's start with the galactogogs we have galactogogs you can find in your kitchen or in the palengke yung mga easy access lang na galactogogs we also have galactogogs that you can find in the like healthy options yung mga kailangan mo talagang bilhin like uh, pills or other like special types of supplements yung mga medyo mahirap hanapin so let's start with hindi naman talaga siya galactogog but just let's start with water minsan na overlook natin eh wala naman talaga tayong problem sa milk supply but we just really need to hydrate ourselves. We forget that in order to make milk, we just need to drink more water. Before you started breastfeeding, if you can drink one liter of water, then now that you're breastfeeding, drink two or three liters of water. Ganun lang. Just hydrate a lot and you might see changes kagad sa breast milk. Next is yung pinaka common dito sa Philippines. Our moms and lola say it to us, malunggay. Malunggay is... And daming malunggay, diba? Like in our backyard, in our kapit bahay. A really easy way to prepare malunggay is to put it in soup. So, dito sa amin, kasi I'm from Cebu, we call it utan bisaya. But in Manila, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's basically just soup with a lot of vegetables. Tapos nila lagay mo yung malunggay. The malunggay, or the moringa, moringa yung English nun, diba? Um, will help you produce more milk. Another type of soup that's very common, na sinasabi ng mga lola and moms natin, is yung. Uh, seashells. Um, here in Cebu, we call it kinasun. I'm just gonna include a photo here para we're on the same page kung anong type of seashells yung sinasabi natin. I'm not sure if meron talaga siyang effect yung seashell mismo, yung, yung this type of seashell. But the soup, for sure, if you drink a lot of it, 
is also going to turn into breast milk or will increase your production of breast milk. And then chicken soup is also really good. Yung chicken tapos lagyan mo daw ng green papaya yung hindi pa ripe na papaya. And then you can also include malunggay. That's tinolang manok, right? So that's also really good to increase your milk supply. And I also know one mom who talked about it in her video. Uh, that bone broth dao helped her a lot. She swears by it. So bone broth is like probably baboy or baka, nilagang baboy, nilagang baka, something like that. And try to eat then mga malunggay na food like malunggay na pandesal or you can also buy malunggay flakes or make malunggay flakes. I have instructions on how to make malunggay flakes. You can ask me. Hindi ko na include dito kasi hindi ko na memorize eh. But you can ask me about it so I can tell you on how to make malunggay flakes. It's super duper easy lang. Tapos yung malunggay flakes, you can put it on your rice, on your drink, on your bread, on your Kahit saan. Coconut water really really works din for me. Kasi dito sa Philippines, we are lucky kagaya ng malunggay. Coconut is just everywhere, di ba? You can find it in the streets, in the palengke, and like kung saan saan. Especially yung fresh talaga ng coconut. Nakatry ako. I went to the mall. And here in Cebu kasi we have Thirsty which is uh, fresh fruits and shakes. They sell a really fresh coconut. They pour it into a cup right in front of you and, and it really helped me super engorged talaga ako right after uminom ng coconut but i have to tell you that it had a different effect on my baby he was fuzzy that night so i might not recommend it to you but to some moms maybe coconut water is okay for you baka naman hindi maging fuzzy yung baby mo baka akin lang basta i think i only tried it once or twice tapos naging fuzzy talaga si baby so hindi ko na lang siya tinry again but if we're talking about engorged ba ako after yes dumami ba yung milk ko yes kaso lang naging fuzzy si baby so baka na change yung quality ng milk ko ng and then the next one is also something that you can find in your kitchen baka meron na kayo nito you don't really have to go out and buy it because it's so easy to look for it's oatmeal oatmeal helped me so much grabe nakaka shock yung all time high ko which was around um 24 ounces nakapump ako ng 24 ounces that was because i ate oatmeal straight for like a week every morning nag oatmeal ako i just put oatmeal in a bowl i put hot water tapos i put it in a microwave nilalagyan ko ng sugar ganun lang ako kumain ng oatmeal i really enjoy eating oatmeal then kasi even if it doesn't increase my milk supply and surprisingly, ang bilis kong mag-engorge sa oatmeal. And you can also eat oatmeal in form of overnight oats or cookies or other types of desserts. Oatmeal can really be prepared in different ways and it's so easy to eat. Masarap siya and it's also very healthy even for non-breastfeeding moms. They also say that Milo or Ovaltine is good for breastfeeding moms. I'm not sure why. They say it's because of the malt content of the drink. So probably any malt drink will help you. So you can also try that. Um, peanuts will also be very helpful. Peanuts like Kaya ano man eh. uh, almond. Um, one friend told me that almond milk helped her a lot. Yung nabibili ata sa grocery. But ako, hindi ko kasi siya na-try. You can try it. Let me know if it works for you. May sinalihan ako mga support groups sa Facebook na US-based or some other countries. And it was quite popular, yung Gatorade na blue. I'm not sure why. Gatorade na blue or Gatorade na red. But blue yung lagi kong nababasa. It increases daw their milk so much and I'm not sure if specifically it has to be Gatorade but feeling ko it just has to be something that hydrates you or replenishes your electrolytes kasi Gatorade has very high sugar content so you have to be careful about that but tinry ko din siya para nakainom ko ng one big Gatorade ganun and then well there's no there was no significant difference in milk supply ko but I was able to drink more fluids so parang baka ganun yung effect niya kasi diba it's easier to drink a huge bottle of Gatorade kasi sa huge bottle of water because mas masarap yung Gatorade kasi sa water so maybe it's just um like psychological na kasi yung Gatorade nakaka increase na milk supply kaysa sa water but the truth is anything that hydrates you probably will really help um, your milk supply increase in a way. And the last thing on my list that um, can help you increase your milk supply na nahahanap mo lang sa bahay is yung chocolate. Here in Cebu, we call it sikwate and we use tablia to make it. Not the powdered cocoa drink like Swiss Miss. Hindi yung ganun. Yung chocolate talaga made from the tablia. Tablia. What do you call tablia in Tagalog? Let me know. Please help me. 
So those are the Galactogogs at home that you can find or nahahanap sa palengke. Yun yung mga easy lang hanapin. So wag muna kayong gumastos. Just try those natural or easy to find na mga Galactogogs at home. It doesn't harm your kidneys. It doesn't harm your liver. Alam mo yung sinasabi ko. Yung parang don't take capsules muna or kung ano-anong mga chemically processed Galactogogs. But try those natu natural and simple food and drinks muna that you can find like, sa palengke sa grocery or sa bahay niyo. But if you have tried that, like me, tinry ko naman talaga yung lahat eh. Wala naman talaga akong tinake na kung ano-ano. Pero my milk really didn't increase. So I had to move on and try the Galactogogs that you can find sa pharmacies. That's what we are gonna talk about right now. Start pa sa pinaka simple. This is probably something that you have already heard of, which is Malungay Capsules. And daming iba't ibang brands. We have Natalac, Mega Malungay, Life Oil. Um, some I don't even know anymore. Kasi yung tinry ko lang is Natalac. And it worked for me. Pero yung increase niya is not the increase that I was looking for at that time. Because at that time, I was already very desperate to increase my milk supply significantly. So Natalac works, but not enough for me yung, yung increase niya. So you can try Mega Malunga. It's very uh, popular on Instagram. It is endorsed by some celebrity moms. So you can try that or Natalak or whatever Malungay capsules that you can find in any pharmacy. Next is Mother's Milk na Chaa. It is, uh, you can find it in healthy options. And it is in a pink box. Yung nakalagay is Mother's Milk Tea. Pero hindi siya milk tea. Chaa siya. Herbal siya na Chaa. And then, masarap. Okay naman siya. It, it is like tea. Pero, it was, tinake ko siya around the same time I was taking Natalak. And, yun na nga, I was really looking for a very, very significant increase in my milk. It worked so well for a lot of other moms. So, it might work well for you. Kaso nga lang, I was looking for yung mga super duper talaga nakakapag-boost ng milk supply. So, I came across M2 Malungay Tea. M2 is also gaining popularity right now in Philippine Moms Forums. Kasi masarap siya and it's easy to prepare. I'll show you a photo of it here. Um, like a gallon or 500ml siya nalalagyan. Tapos, liquid na yung tea so you you can put it in the fridge tapos you just add water kasi super ano niya eh super sticky super concentrated niya just add water and ice you can also add milk so magiging milk tea na siya it really helped me hydrate kasi masarap siya para siyang iced tea and easy to look for you can find it in andox andox is a place where you can buy lechon manok here in cebu i'm not sure if andox is nationwide so just look for it na lang din sa robinsons na mga supermarket and you can also buy it sa landers na nakita ko siya sa landers and it's also in shopee i think and in lazada so just check Next is yung pinaka favorite ko until now in form of drink which is Mother Nurture na chocolate drink. It is available in coffee and in chocolate. Um if you're breastfeeding, coffee naman is okay but you have to observe your baby and your milk supply. So, sinabihan din ako ata ng pediatrician or ng lactation consultant ko that coffee might decrease your milk supply. Iba-iba yung effect niya. But to most moms, coffee is fine. But what I'm saying is that if you really, really want to drink coffee, try, try not to drink the coffee that you're used to. Instead, just drink the Mother Nurture coffee. It has more or less the same taste. You can add creamer if you want more creamy or mas para siyang latte. But it's really good and it increases your milk supply because it has malungay. And yung favorite ko from them is their chocolate drink talaga kasi super sarap. And when you drink it warm, you're... It's like you're really drinking a, a mamahalin na hot chocolate. It's not like you're drinking a malungay drink. So I used to drink it every time I pump at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Yung madaling araw, ako lang yung gising. So it was really a comfort drink for me, the malungay chocolate drink of Mother Nurture. Another is lactation cookies. Madami na ding nagsasell ng lactation cookies right now because it really works. Just check the ingredients. Wala ko masyadong ma-recommend kasi once lang akong nag-try ng lactation cookies. So just check if they added something that will really increase your milk supply. Usually it's flaxseed meal or brewer's yeast. Has to be brewer's yeast. Sometimes they put fenugreek na powder or they just add nuts. Mga ganon. 
So that's what's gonna help you boost your milk supply. Ako, I was able to order from um, Ana Bettina Carlos, yung Milking Moms by ABC. It was very, very much highly recommended by Ia Villania, and I really loved it. Um, kasi may Nutella siya, so that was really my favorite. Tapos, it worked well, except it has fenugreek. I'm gonna talk about fenugreek later on. But, you know, it has fenugreek, and fenugreek had a different effect on my body. Pero maramis lang variants, so please do check them out. I really love their customer service. Sobrang bait nila. And, well, if you're, you're not into the type of cookies that Milking Bombs by ABC has, then you can also try other lactation goodies. There are a lot on Instagram. If you're selling lactation cookies, let me know in the comments below so I can give you a shout out on my Instagram. So as I mentioned, flaxseed meal is also going to increase your milk supply. Meansan, they just buy flaxseed meal, which is in, like in healthy options. And then they put it in their drink, in their morning coffee or milk or whatever Milo, you Milo daw, nilalagyan nila ng flaxseed meal. It will really help you or bake something like cookies uh, using brewer's yeast. Brewer's yeast can also be found sa healthy options. So uh, when I consumed my Milking Bombs by ABC, yung ubos na, hindi na ako nag-order kasi tinry kong mag-bake ng um, cookies by myself or with the help of Carlos auntie. And we just bought flaxseed and Brewer seized from healthy options. If you want to know how to bake your own lactation cookies, let me know. I have at least three recipes and super easy lang gawin as long as you have an oven. Pero ako, once ko lang tinry kasi my BB was really, really clingy at that time. Mahirap mag-bake. Next is fenugreek. Everybody is talking about fenugreek. Ito ata yung one of the pinaka first na nire-recommend ng mga moms to other moms when they ask about increasing milk supply. Fenugreek. Fenugreek can be found in healthy options. I don't know where else you can buy it, but probably in Shopee, Lazada, mga ganun. Fenugreek is not mahirap hanapin. Hindi siya mahirap hanapin. But it is in form of capsules, and you have to take like two or three fenugreek capsules per day, depending on you. But the thing about fenugreek is it is hit or miss. Some moms super duper nag increase yung milk supply nila. Some moms fenugreek doesn't work for them. So what you do is you have to observe your milk and your baby. Tapos the moment you start taking fenugreek, if nag decrease yung milk mo, if my changes kagad, then stop. Pero if nag increase yung milk mo, then go on because it means fenugreek is for you. In my case, nag increase yung milk ko because of fenugreek, pero nag iba yung quality niya. Uh, my baby was fuzzy at night, nahirapan siya matulog. So I stopped taking fenugreek, tapos okay na naman siya. And then when I took fenugreek ulit, he was fuzzy again. That means na maybe there's something about fenugreek changing my milk na ayon niya sa milk ko whenever I take fenugreek. So I had to stop. When I stopped taking fenugreek, I had to look for something else. I am very lucky that I came across the legendary supplement. Legendary supplements is just definitely the reason why I am able to breastfeed my baby until now. As in, legendary is the reason kung bakit nagkaroon ako freezer stash, kung bakit ang dami 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 kong milk, kung bakit nag-gain ng weight yung baby ko. Tsaka, until now, I'm still thinking legendary. Kahit hindi na ako nagtitake ng legendary because I even ended up with an oversupply because of legendary. Legendary is mga capsules siya. Kaso nga lang, it gets quite confusing because it has five variants. So, kailangan mo mamili. The technique here is just to go for the best seller which is probably liquid gold. Yun yung nag-work talaga sa akin ay yung liquid gold. And then read the ingredients and the reviews. Kung alin yung pinaka nag-work sa madaming moms, then that's probably what's gonna work for you. Medyo tricky din siya because you receive your legendary today and then you take it for two or three times already in a day. At the end of the day, baka hindi pa mag-increase yung milk supply mo. Because your body has to wait three to seven days, some moms have to wait up to 10 days before nag take effect sa kanila yung legendary, which happened to me. So it was really frustrating at first because legendary can be quite expensive. Pero sa totoo lang, gabe dramatic talaga yung effect ng legendary sa akin. Ang dami kong binili afterwards. And if you wanna buy legendary, please go to Mama's Hub. I'm gonna show you the Instagram account of Mama's Hub right here. Visit their Instagram account and inquire kasi sobrang sobrang bait talaga ng customer service nila. I have not found any other seller of legendary here in the Philippines na mabait. Yung Mama's Hub lang talaga. So I really highly recommend them and 
be patient lang talaga because it might take some time before the, the, the product works on you. But it really, really works. In fact, if you go to legendary na US account, yun talagang main distributor of legendary in the USA, you go check their Instagram stories. And dami 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 talagang moms na natulungan na ng legendary. It was really really expensive, pero it was the most effective for me. In fact, nakasave ako in the long run because I stopped drinking all of the other galactagos na I mentioned earlier. I dropped everything, tapos legendary na lang yung tinake ko because it was already enough. In fact, I was already suffering from an oversupply, yung mga clog, tsaka yung mga potential mastitis na mga situation because of legendary and dami na talagang milk. So... I hope it will also work for you if you decide to try it. If you have questions about Legendary, let me know because I think I tried it all. Liquid Gold, Pump Princess, Milkapalooza, Lechita, Le 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 and Cash Cow. I have really tried everything and Liquid Gold worked best for me. The last resort and this is the most I don't recommend but I'm just going to mention it. Domperidone. If you have tried everything I mentioned, tapos wala talagang nagwork, then you might want to try Domperidone. Domperidone is an over-the-counter drug. It's motilium. Di ba para yun sa chan? And you can buy it. Pero why it is not recommended is because yung pag-increase ng milk supply mo because of Domperidone is a side effect of Domperidone. So hindi talaga yun yung main purpose ng gamot. And then you have to take it in overly high doses. And it might not work for you. It worked for a lot, pero it has a very bad side effect or potentially ma-affected yung mental health mo when you stop it cold turkey, when you suddenly decide not to drink motilium anymore. So, it's very dangerous. Like, kailangan mong mag-consult ng doctor and for sure, the doctor might not recommend it din. So, you have to take it at your own risk, but if you really want to because wala na talaga kayong choice, then you can ask me below because um, meron din naman ako na research about Domperidone and I can share it to you but I really don't recommend it. So those are all the Galactogogs that I can recommend or that I can suggest that you would take if you're really having a problem with your milk supply. But I just want to talk about this really quick. Sana makinig pa rin kayo sa akin kahit nakuha nyo na yung kailangan nyo from this video. I just want to remind you that baka naman wala kayong problem sa milk supply. Just remember that your baby doesn't really need to drink kalaking bote when he is 2 weeks old, 3 weeks old. The baby's stomach is really small at first. So, konti lang yung kailangan yung milk. Sometimes when you compress your breast or you do hand expression, tapos walang lumabas na milk, it doesn't mean na wala kang milk. Baka hindi lang siya ganun kadami, but you have milk and most of the time, it is enough for your baby. Why I am telling you this is because if you try and drink and take a lot of galactogogs, kahit wala ka namang problem sa milk supply mo, Baka pagsisisihan mo because an oversupply is not a joke. Napakahirap magkaroon ng oversupply. Oversupply is when your body is producing so much milk na hindi na nauubos ni baby, hindi niya na-empty yung breast mo. You will get clogs. And when your ducts get clogs, baka maging mastitis. Mastitis is an infection. And you might need to take antibiotics for mastitis. You might get fever. Ang sakit. Ang sakit magka-clogs. Ang sakit magka-mastitis. I have had it like once. Just read about how to cure mastitis or do home remedies for mastitis. Pero if hindi na talaga kaya, you really have to visit the doctor because mastitis might get really, really bad and it will become an abscess. An abscess is when meron na talagang pus or nana and you will need an operation for that. So an oversupply is also not a joke. So if you do not have a milk supply problem, don't try to increase your milk supply, okay? If wala kayong budget for galactogogs and hindi naman talaga alarming yung weight ni baby, umiihi si baby, nagpupoop si baby, then you do not have a milk supply. And um, what you can do just to uh, encourage the milk flow or the milk production, yung to make sure lang that you will always have enough milk, um, is to breastfeed regularly, breastfeed often, and try to empty your breasts always. Because breast milk production follows the law of supply and demand, meaning the more you breastfeed, the more your body creates milk. The less you breastfeed, the less your body creates milk. When you breastfeed and you want to ensure that 
um, maximum talaga yung breast milk production. After you breastfeed, tulog na si baby, inilagay mo na siya sa bed or sa crib, you have to hand express to empty your breast. After you empty your breast, your body will make more milk. That is a really, really simple trick. You don't have to take the lactogogs and your body will just make more milk. Also, try to make sure that your baby is really breastfeeding effectively. Meaning, correct yung pagka breastfeed mo sa kanya. When you cradle your baby, make sure na hindi mo talaga nakikita yung other half ng face niya. Meaning, naka cradle mo siya correctly. Hindi yung ganun yung body niya tapos naka ganun lang yung neck niya. He wouldn't be able to breastfeed correctly when he is in that position. So, hold him properly. Check if his lips are flanged out. That will make him suckle better. And you can also try to do breast compressions, especially if super liit ni baby, if you have a preemie. Baka hindi siya marunong mag-suckle or mag-suck out ng milk. So, try to do best breast compressions like ganito habang nagpapadede kayo, just to aid the baby. And really, really try to achieve a deep latch. If deep latch si baby, malalaman mo yun kasi yung areola mo, konti lang yung nakikita. Yung parang umiinom lang siya from a straw, that's wrong. Dapat parang open talaga yung mouth niya na nakaka-cover niya yung whole nipple tsaka yung most part of the areola. That is a deep latch. And uh, you can read more about it. I'm gonna link some articles on the description box below to find out what a deep latch is. And I assure you that if your baby has no other problems and effective yung breastfeeding niya, you will not need galactogogs. Also, no overlook din natin to, but you can also try to visit a lactation consultant. Hindi siya traditional, di ba? Parang we haven't heard of this until ngayon lang, like lately. But a lactation consultant can really, really help you because ang daming alam ng lactation consultant na hindi napapass on sa atin ng mga grandma, especially our moms. Because ako ha, my mom, uh, when she gave birth to me and my siblings, uh, formula milk was really, really booming that she doesn't know much about breastfeeding. Actually, she doesn't know anything about breastfeeding kasi lahat kami formula fed. So she wasn't really able to teach me a lot about breastfeeding, but the lactation consultant was the one na nagturo sa akin ng lahat ng to. Tsaka yung mga support groups sa Facebook, like Breastfeeding Finais and Milk Making Mommies here in Cebu. And then just a few more reminders. If you are a pumping mom, just try to be consistent. Mahirap siya. Ako, I'm lucky to be a stay-at-home mom, but mahirap talaga siya, especially if you are a working mom. But if you join the group Breastfeeding Finais and Milk Making Mommies, and dami-daming moms na kayang mag-pump sa work, tapos dinadala nila sa bahay using an insulated bag, di ba yung mga cooler. There are so many things that you can buy already these days para makapag-pump kayo sa work tapos madala nyo kay baby. Ako, I even bought those things then in case that we had to go sa mall tapos I needed to pump. Um, everything is already available everywhere. It took me a while being consistent with my pumping but I had to keep at it and especially yung power pumping it really helped a lot. I power pumped every day. Nung super low talaga na supply ko, I power pumped every day and ang laki laking help ng ang laki laking help ng power pumping. To power pump first, I had to have a double electric pump, and you can actually buy any pump. Pero if I were you, if you have a really bad milk supply problem, then just go for the hospital grade or yung mga good ones. Ako, I bought this um, Spectra na double electric pump. I'm gonna show you a photo of it here. And mind you, nakasubok na ako ng two other types of pumps, which is yung Looney Tunes na single electric pump from the department store. It did not work for me. It wasn't strong enough. And time-consuming kasi yung single. Kailangan ko mag-pump so many times a day. Tsaka nakatry na din ako ng Farlin na manual pump. Unfortunately, sobrang hirap nung gamitin and maybe it's okay lang if you don't need to pump, like kailangan mo lang mag-empty occasionally, pero ako na I really had to build a stash and pump for my baby, the manual pump just didn't work for me. So nagsayang lang ako ng pera, buti pa, mas mabuti sana if I just dumiretso na lang ako sa Spectra. Quite pricey but a really really good investment, besides I didn't have to buy formula milk anyway. So I power pumped every madaling araw and whenever I had the time, kaso lang power pumping will take one hour, so make sure na entertain si baby or tulog si baby. Me, I used to do it sa madaling araw whenever tulog si baby. Just pump for 20 minutes, yung double ha, so two sides, nagpa-pump ka ng 20 minutes, and then you rest for 10 minutes. And then pump again for 10 minutes, and then rest for 10 minutes. 
and then pump again for 10 minutes so that's three times na pumping session 20 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes and then two times na rest session in between 10 minutes and 10 minutes na rest so all in all it will take one hour you will think it's a waste of time but it's really really worth it it made so much difference sa milk supply ko. I would really advise you to pump sa madaling araw. Ang laki ng difference ng output ko. Every madaling araw, super dami siya sa madaling araw. And pump every 3 hours or 2 hours if kaya mo. And also, think happy thoughts whenever you pump. Ako ay watch the legendary Instagram stories kasi nakaka-happy para sa akin yung nakikita ko yung mga milk or yung mga napapump ng other moms. And also, sometimes I watch vlogs. Mga, mga ganito na vlogs. Yung mga nag encourage sa akin. Last is, uh, don't try not to be stressed at all. Be around supportive people. Ako, it really helped me that my husband was very supportive and my parents um, from both sides, initially, they were into mixed feeding or kasi makawawa na si baby, he was already low weight, so baka we can switch to formula milk. But they didn't really push it and they respected our decision, me and my husband, na mag-exclusively breastfeeding. So, uh, that was very, very helpful that they were supportive kasi hindi ako na-stress out sa bahay. It really takes a village and that's what I was able to grow with. That's what I was able to live with. Yung village na supportive, supportive talaga sila sa akin. And look for help and look for support groups kagaya nung I mentioned kanina breastfeeding pinais you can find them on Facebook or if you want a Bisaya support group it's milk making mommies yun kasi yung pinaka important pero pinaka mostly neglected na advice don't be stressed out and be optimistic I am a really huge follower of the law of attraction and I was able to observe na every time I was stressed I was crying yung namumblema ako yun yung mga times na konti lang yung milk ko but during that time na I was reassured I was happy I was um, stress free, yun yung times na sobrang dami ng milk na napapump ko. Crying and feeling guilty, feeling bad, yung naaawa ka sa baby mo, it will not help you. So try to be around happy people, think optimistic thoughts, and watch mga videos na ganito, yung mga helpful na videos, pero yung hindi mga nakakasad na videos. So try not to look at those mga politics na post, yung mga kawawang mga situation. You can just watch them when you're already done breastfeeding or pumping. Pero for me lang generally, when you're having problems yourself, you're not supposed to sulk and, you know, empathize with the others who have problems din. Kasi it's just gonna worsen the situation of both sides. That's just me though. So those are all of my tips, mommies. I hope that this video was able to help you. Medyo mahaba, mataas yung video. Pero if you are watching until this part, thank you. Thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. Once again, sana ma-share mo tong video na to if you know somebody also struggling with milk supply. Sana you can like this video. Sana you can subscribe to my channel so that you can help me um, spread the advice and the tips to the moms who need it. It was really very important for me to increase my milk supply and I was able to do it. I just really simply want to share it with you para matulungan ko kayong lahat. As I have mentioned, ang dami kong binasa, ang dami kong videos na pinanood, pero walang ni isang video na super duper kumpleto talaga. So I wish I was able to do it. I wish you enjoyed listening to me. And if you have comments and suggestions, just let me know below. Just DM me on my Facebook or Instagram and I will definitely respond, especially if you have questions, if you need encouragement, if you need hope. I'm gonna be here kasi once upon a time nandyan din ako sa situation nyo yung kulang na kulang talaga yung milk and you're very desperate for help. If your baby is also severely underweight or needs to gain more weight, I have a video about my baby when he was in the same situation. I hope you can watch it. I will link it below. He was able to gain his weight and he is now very happy and healthy without the help of formula milk, of supplements, or any form of vitamins. Once again, this is Lai of How to Wow Me and thank you very much for watching. Bye!